Welcome back to grade seven math. This is lesson number 7.3, understand the use of exponents. Now, in case you're wondering what happened to lesson 7.2, can't your highly esteemed math teacher count? Well, yes, I can count. Um, and I do know that we're skipping lesson 7.2 for now. Uh, Lesson 7.2 looks at square roots. I figure let's start off the week continuing our look at exponents and then we'll backtrack and go to lesson 7.2 later in the week. In today's lesson, we are going to take a more in-depth look at exponents. We are going to understand why exponents are very helpful when reading and writing lengthy multiplication statements. So take a look at the repeated multiplication statements and try this out at home. See how many of these multiplication statements you can read aloud without losing your breath and see how many you can calculate in your mind, like without using a calculator. I'm betting by the time you reach the halfway mark, you're probably going to lose track of the number of twos you've read aloud. <sighs> Some repeated multiplications can go on forever. Having to write the same number over and over again in the multiplication statement can be very time consuming. So this is why we write exponents. Check out this example below. So I've got two times two times two times two, so on. I can shorten that down to two to the power of nine. And believe me, writing that little nine in the top corner made life a lot easier. Well, not so much when I was typing up the smart board lesson, but um, in future scenarios, Writing with exponents will help a whole lot. A power is a number written in exponential form. A power consists of two parts, the base and the exponent. Let's take a look at this example. Three to the power of four, the base is three and the exponent is four. The base tells us what number is being multiplied by itself. The exponent tells us how many times to write the base. In other words, we would say three to the power of four. Okay, I'm going to do the first example for you and then you're going to try the rest at home. So for each example, we're going to write the expression as a power, and then we'll say the power in words. So for example A, I've got six times six times six times six times six. I'm already out of breath. A much shorter way of writing that is six to the power of five. Again, that's six to the power of five. So what I want you to do at home is put the video on pause so that you can try out these two examples, which we'll take up next week. So put the video on pause right now. Okay, moving on. Let's look at a couple of special cases. Four to the one actually equals four. So that means that 16 to the power of 1 equals, if you're thinking 16, you're exactly right. So whenever the exponent is 1, the answer is the, if you said the base, you're exactly right. Check out these ones. We've actually got 0 as an exponent. Well, in the case of 10 to the power of 0, that equals 1. So what do you think 36 to the power of 0 equals? Well, if you said 1, you're exactly right. So the general rule is, whenever the exponent is 0, the answer is 1.
Alrighty folks, hopefully there wasn't anything too complex or confusing in this video, but if there was, make sure that you let me know in our next class. And after we review those two example problems left for you at home, I'm going to give you some independent work out of your textbook. But until we meet again, this concludes today's video.